Alvin, how's my favorite? Uh, what's the non-gendered word for niece or nephew? Nibbling. No. How are you, Alvin? Always good to hear from you. I'm all right, Uncle Edwin. How are you? Still wealthy. You saved the world yet? Still working on it. Don't give up. You'll get there. All right. Good chatting with you. Uh, did you want to talk to Audrey? Uh, no, Uncle Edwin. I called to talk to you. I knew it. You're finally ready to cut loose that sack of feral cats you call mother. Elvin, I have said since the day you were born, you were too good for her. Uh, I assume you don't have anything to pack, so just come right over. I'll have a room made up by the time you get here. No, Uncle Edwin, I'm not leaving mother. I could never abandon her. She needs me. The only thing Vivian Salt needs is a warehouse to store all the grudges she holds. <laughs> she does maintain a lengthy enemies list. With me at the top, I'm sure. You know, we actually used to get along pretty well back in the day. Really? Oh, yes. Back when her family was still wealthy. I had just started dating your Aunt Angela, and the three of us used to pal around together all the time. But then she fell in with, uh, well, I'll just say she started seeing someone the family didn't approve of and leave it at that. Funny you should bring that up, Uncle Edwin. And then, of course, her parents lost their fortune due to some poor business decisions, while at the same time, I completely coincidentally gained an equivalent but entirely different fortune thanks to my superior business acumen. And Vivian never forgave me. Angela kept the peace between us, but ever since she died, it's been all out war between your mother and me. Oh, I'm sorry, Elvin, what did you say? You mentioned my mother was seeing someone her parents didn't approve of? Yes, a street thug named Gunner Steele. They were quite the wild pair for a while, he and your mother. Really? Oh, sure. Your grandparents threw a charity gala once, raising money for, uh, I don't remember, ugly people or something. Vivian walked in with Gunner on her arm, and the place erupted. Erupted how? Well, it erupted in a wealthy society way, so mostly hushed whispers. But your grandfather turned the thermostat down a few degrees to register his icy disapproval. She always knew her own mind, your mother. I used to admire that about her before she turned that mind towards destroying my life. Was mother still seeing Gunner when she got pregnant with me? What are you really asking me, Elvin? I'm wondering if Gunnar Steele might be my father, Uncle Edwin. What has your mother told you about your father? That I don't have one. She always said she was wealthy enough to conceive through parthenogenesis. That was very trendy at the time. I hate to think that mother might have been lying to me, but... <laughs> but you know that if it served her interest, she'd feed you a bowl of dirt and tell you it's chocolate ice cream. That happened once and it was a treat for my birthday. Mother would only lie to me to keep me from getting hurt, Uncle Edwin. She thinks I'm far more delicate than I am. Well, I wish I could help you, Alvin, but your mother's always played your father's identity close to her chest. She might be telling the truth about spawning you on her own. She might not. I, I just don't know. But if she wasn't, and she was seeing Gunner at the time... Don't I... jump to any conclusions. Gunner may have been her boyfriend, but he was far from the only man in her life. Your mother liked to have a good time, if you know what I mean. Oh, I, I understand. She liked to have a lot of sex with a lot of different men. And thank you for clarifying. A word of advice, Elvin. Leave this alone. You've done fine without a father this long. And stay away from Gunner Steele. He's no good, you hear me? Yes, Uncle Edwin. Good. All right, I've got to get back to work. Oh, oh wait, Uncle Edwin. There was one other thing. Sure, Elvin. I've been doing some investigating down at the waterfront. What? Why? There's nothing happening down at the waterfront. You should stay away from there. You've always been a poor swimmer. That's not true. I'm extremely buoyant. I was just trying to raise awareness about climate change, but I discovered something odd. Odd is a very strong word, Elvin. It's probably something extremely not odd. I hope so. Somebody's been buying up all the waterfront businesses, and they're not taking no for an answer, if you know what I mean. I don't. I have no idea. I think the person is using violence to get what they want. What? That's... No. I know. It's upsetting. So, I did some digging, and... I found your connection to the waterfront, Uncle Edwin. Mine? <laughs> hey, Elvin, we should go hunting. Just the two of us, deep in the woods. Oh, uh, no, hunting doesn't exactly fit into my brand, as Audrey would say. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I'd be doing most of the hunting. Maybe some other time. I really want to get to the bottom of this. So, four years ago, you bought a business on the waterfront. Wait, four years ago? That's what you're asking me about? I was wondering if maybe somebody's approached you about buying it? Oh, uh, no. Sorry, Elvin, can't help you. I don't even remember buying a property on the waterfront. It must have been through one of my subsidiaries. This one's pretty memorable, Uncle Edwin. It's a sex club. 
You'll have to be more specific, Elvin. I'm a very wealthy businessman, so obviously I own a lot of sex clubs. Are you talking about the trough? No. Puddles? No. The diaper caddy? No. TGI fistings? No. I didn't know Distant Falls had so many sex clubs. Oh, sure. It's our main industry. The one I'm talking about is on the waterfront? Oh, the blowhole. Yes. Honestly, Elvin, I didn't even know I owned that. Really? Because you bought it four years ago and then immediately shut it down. And it's been abandoned ever since. Why do that if sex clubs are so profitable? Gunner Steele is your father. What? Vivian confessed it to me years ago. But you said... I was trying to protect my beloved nibbling, but I see now that that was wrong. You are strong and you are good and nothing will distract you from something once you have set your mind to it. So you should set your mind to building a relationship with your father and don't let anything get in the way. Wow. Thanks, Uncle Edwin. And let's just pretend the rest of this conversation never happened. Always good to hear from you, Alvin. Goodbye. I need to talk to Gunner. Just as soon as I compare notes with Audrey about the waterfront. If you lied to me about my father, Uncle Edwin, what else might you be lying about? I totally get that a lot of people can't afford the most expensive cosmetics like I can, but honestly, if you're using drugs for makeup, you might as well be rubbing shards of broken glass into your face. Beauty has a cost, but so does ugly. Oh my God, I didn't even know I was gonna say that. I'm like so profound. Audrey, do you have a minute? Oh, hey, Elvin, just a second. I have to go, my cousin's calling. Remember, there will always be another electric bill, but diamond glitter eyeshadow is forever. Don't forget to like and subscribe, bye. Sorry. No problem. Recording an Insta story? No, that was Linda, this girl I used to bully in high school. I'm life coaching her now to make amends. What's up? You asked me to let you know if I discovered anything interesting about the, the waterfront. Ooh, did you? I did. Did you know your father owns a sex club in that area? Oh, yeah. Daddy owns like a ton of sex clubs. Was it the wet spot? No. Volvo lamp? No. Ooh, come on, Eileen's. No. Mouthfeel? No. It, uh, it's... The blowhole. The blowhole? I haven't even heard of that one. That's because your father shut it down as soon as he bought it. I found an archive of their website online and it has some pretty intense stuff. Uh, more intense than the water slide at the wet spot? Here's a little behind the scenes info from the owner's daughter. It's not water. Much more intense. The blowhole was the most successful business on the waterfront district until your father suddenly shut it down four years ago. Four years ago? That's when my mother died. Oh yeah. Could be a coincidence. Maybe. What else did you find? Um, that's all that relates to your father, but there was something else. Someone is buying up all the businesses in the waterfront district and they're roughing up anybody who doesn't want to sell. Ooh, it's daddy. It must be. Uncle Edwin using violence to get what he wants. You know what? I, I can see it, but why do you think it's him? Well, he's planning this big waterfront development project. He must be buying up all of the land now, cheap before it goes public. But that doesn't make any sense. I know, because the waterfront is going to be gone in a few years. Because of climate change. Hey, I told you something important and you remembered it. Good for you, Audrey. Thank you. I'm like really proud of myself. But Uncle Edwin must know that we're losing the waterfront, so... Why sink all this money into something that's probably going to be gone before he'd see a profit? I don't know, but I do know how we can find out. By asking him? What? No, of course not. Right. <laughs> Sorry. I still default to believing that people are inherently honest. Yeah, you need to get past that. I'm a work in progress, Audrey. We need to get into his computer. Do you have his passwords? No, but his assistant does. Rebecca! Oh, I bet she'll help us. I really like her. Ugh, really? She looks too much like me. She gives me the creeps. I told her she was infringing on my brand and that she needed to wear colored contacts and change her breast size and get spinal surgery to make her just like a few inches shorter. And she looked at me like I was crazy. Huh, imagine that. I know. I even told her she could pick the colored contacts to wear and she just walked away. So you don't think she's going to help us? No, but not because of that. It's because she's dead. Oh my God. 
Yeah, she got her head chopped off by daddy's helicopter. Oh my God, Audrey, that's horrifying. I know, so sad. I posted a tribute video about how much she meant to me and I got like a ton of new followers from it. So I almost feel like that was her apologizing to me from heaven. Wow. Audrey, I love you, but wow. Aw, thanks, Alvin. I love you too. Anyway, daddy must have been like super desperate for a new assistant because he hired the guy that delivered my smoothie. His name is Griffin and he seems like really stupid. So we can probably just trick him into helping us. Trick him how? I don't know, like seduce him. You and I are both like extremely sexually attractive. Well, that's true. But there's something else I, I have to take care of first. But Elvin, this is about climate change. You love climate change. No, I hate it. Right, whatever. You feel strongly about it. What could be more important? I found my father, Audrey. Your father? But I thought your mother, like, made you in a lab or something. That's what she always said, but, and it breaks my heart to admit this, it looks like she may have lied to me. She was seeing someone when I was conceived, and I have to talk to him and find out whether or not he's really my father. Oh my god, Elvin, this is so dramatic. I am so excited for you and I can't wait to post about it. Okay, yes, you, Elvin, go find your father and I'll go talk to Griffin and then we'll meet up later on and discuss. Got it, good luck. Thanks, you too. Oh my god, Elvin is like such a good person. They really inspire me. Oh my god, Linda, what did I say about drugstore makeup? You look like a truck stop prostitute applying to clown college. <laughs> 